guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rissa B and I am a research associate working in biotech. I have some new people that have subscribed to the channel and who are now discovering my videos. So I want to come back and make an updated video about who I am and how I got to this career field. I get so many questions on things and topics that I've already covered in a lot of my past videos. So I figured I might as well make a updated video on how I began a career in the lab and addressing some of those common questions you guys have. So if you're interested in my journey, then keep on watching. Before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos like this. Also, if you feel so inclined, give this video a thumbs up below and leave a comment below letting me know anything else you'd like me to cover on my channel or in any more videos. And lastly, if you're looking for a resume template, information about the ASAP or anything like that, don't forget to check out my laboratory guide, which will be linked in the description below as well. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first things first, education. I went to the University of Maryland and received a Bachelor of Science degree in biology. A few months after graduating, I began taking prerequisites for nursing at my local community college and then transferred to the University of Nevada to finish taking my prereqs for nursing. After my prereqs, I took the HESI exam and also applied to the accelerated nursing program at the University of Nevada. So while I was preparing for the HESI and also while I was waiting for my um, admitted decision for the nursing program, I began looking into laboratory careers and applying to laboratory technologist position. Around the same time that I did get accepted into the nursing program was around the same time that I received my first job offer. And so I decided to accept the job offer versus going into the nursing program. The job was in Maryland, so I relocated located back to Maryland after accepting the job. So I got my first job as a clinical laboratory technologist. No prior experience except for the basics that I learned in my undergraduate lab courses. I was working for a biotechnology company in the CLIA lab that focused on oncology. We used two different technologies, beaming and next generation sequencing or NGS to test for and provide analysis for circulating tumor DNA or CT DNA. So I was there for a little over a year and a half before a recruiter reached out to me for a position at another biotechnology company. This company was also a cancer genomics company and also used a form of NGS technology. The position was originally for a flex position in their CLIA lab and their research and development department. So after a few interview rounds, I received the job offer and I started at my second company where I never actually ended up working in CLIA, only in the R&D department as a research associate. I actually have a video on my channel interviewing my manager and her journey in this field. So if you're interested in another perspective, I'll link that video right up here on the screen and also below in the description. Both of these companies were considered startups even though they've been around for 10 or more years with the latter actually Actually getting acquired in the last two months by a really big well-known company so that was like a super big deal um, and something that I haven't shared on this channel yet is that I've actually left that second company and joined another company the new company that I'm with is also a biotechnology company also in cancer genomics and also a startup company but this company was just started last year so it's literally brand new we're still in the phase of establishing procedures, supplies, policies, etc. So we're still at the very, very beginning stages and preparing for a CLIA validation within the next month or so. I've been there for almost two months now and it's already been a journey, but I do like it even though it is a bit tiring some days. Some people who previously managed me who now work for this company reached out to me and that's how I came upon this job. I'm also a research associate at the new company and I'm currently acting inventory manager. So basically in my new position as a research associate, I will be working closely with the CLIA lab op personnel and basically testing procedures and change of procedures before handing it over for CLIA to use. And that way we're making sure that the procedures actually do work and if they don't work, we're figuring figuring out how to troubleshoot them and get them working before handing them over to the lab side. As inventory manager, I keep track and order all the reagents for the lab as well as all the critical procedural consumables. I also have to make sure that we are buying from the right vendors, we have all the necessary documentation, we're creating new documentation, approving items before we use them or before we release them, testing the proper reagents before they're used, among other things. So I may make a I may talk about this a little more in another video, but if I don't, here it is. You guys are hearing it first. I have a new job. I am a research associate there as well as inventory manager. And so now a couple of answers to questions that I get a lot in my comments. So as far as where I've worked, I've never worked in a hospital setting, so I can't speak on that experience or give any recommendations. I also don't have a certification in clinical laboratory science. So no, I don't have any tips on passing the test 
how to register or anything else relating to the ASCP exam. But you can go to the ASCP website and find all the information you need. If you want to know what states require certification, you can easily Google it or check out my laboratory guide for a comprehensive list. Same thing applies to schools. I did not go to school for CLS, so I can't recommend any schools or any programs. You can Google programs or check out my laboratory guide. Either one works. No, I will not disclose exactly how much I make nor where I work. I have a video I made on the average salary of a CLS a while ago. I'll link it for you on the screen and down below in the description box. If you want to know a brief summary of the various ways you can enter into this field, mainly based on your education, you can check out this video I made that discusses various pathways. So if you have specific questions about the degree that you have and if you can enter this field or what's the requirements, that video will most likely answer all of your questions. So again, I will link that right here on the screen and down below in the description box. I feel like I may be forgetting some more questions, but like off the top of my head, that's all that I can think of right now. That's all that I have for today's video, and I hope it was helpful to those of you who are just now discovering my channel. Of course, if you have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, I repeat that I did not answer in this video, please feel free to ask them down below. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful. If you think someone else will find it helpful, share this video with them. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.